What's going on guys? Ross here, finally back for another shave. So today's shave, I'm gonna be giving you a first impressions of Mike's Natural Soaps, and this is Vetiver. So as I just mentioned, this is actually first impressions. I've never used Mike's Natural Soaps, which I'm almost ashamed to admit. So I'm really looking forward to using this one. Vetiver is right in my wheelhouse. This one smells awesome. So I'm looking forward to giving you some of my thoughts. So my brush today is going to be the Deranged Donkey Luton Brushworks collaboration brush. And this is sporting a Declaration B4 knot. Um, I believe this is somewhere around 29 millimeters, it's somewhere between 29 and 30 millimeters. So it's pretty, pretty big, pretty dense knot. And I absolutely love this brush. Just the, the way that the fractal burns turned out and this beautiful blue resin, which probably isn't really getting captured very much in my lighting. So I do apologize for that, but absolutely love this brush. The razor for today is going to be my Max Sprecher. This is a 9 8 plus with dark angel wing abalone scales and full spine work. And then to finish off the shave, we're gonna be using Katie's Bubbles 322. All right, so true to form, I've got plenty loaded up here in my brush, maybe even too much. I'm gonna scoop off the excess here. Apply it on my face. This is a very firm puck. I don't know if this is the standard for Mike's uh, I'm honestly not too familiar with the inner workings of Mike's Natural Soaps. I know that they've been around for as long as I've been in the hobby, but I haven't seen anything new come out from them in some time. I'm going to assume that they are no longer making soaps. but it does seem to be quite a popular soap. So I believe the scents, the scents are really from what I've seen, and I'm throwing lather everywhere already. The scents seem to be a big hit in the community. But I'm gonna assume that the performance is also at least pretty good for people to continue using it these days and talking about it. I had this brush pretty damp all ready to load. And so it is, uh, needless to say, I'm making a mess but we're gonna keep adding a little bit of water here. This vetiver is actually uh, an essential oil of the Haitian variety. I was actually not aware of this until earlier this month. I was generously piffed this soap from John, AKA Latherhog. He knows I'm into very dark, damp, and earthy scents. And this is certainly in that wheelhouse. Off the tub, it is very earthy. So if you're not a fan of earthy scents, this is not for you. It definitely has a dark aspect to it. And what I get more upon actually lathering it is I get sort of a smoky aspect to it, which really makes this enjoyable for me. We 
we are good to go. I've got lather just dripping off this brush here. So first pass, we are gonna go with the green. Now the scent strength on this, I think just given that this is a single note soap, uh, and given just that it is a straight vetiver scent, I think this can come off as pretty strong. I would probably put this somewhere around a, around a five or a six. It still seems fairly middle of the road. There's certainly no issues with uh, with primary slickness, and the residual is also there. I don't believe this formula or base has been updated ever, maybe. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen any information put out there about Mike's ever updating their formula. But so far, this is doing just fine. Yeah, very, very smooth, comfortable first pass. Let me rinse off and we'll get to the second pass. All right, so we are on to with the grain. Now, when I reapplied the lather for the second pass, I added quite a bit more water. I just wanted to push the water tolerance to see where that was at and it seems to be holding quite a bit the sheen on my lathers never comes through due to my poor lighting in here but this actually has a really nice sheen to it I'm quite impressed so far. One thing I forgot to mention too is uh, this, this soap is actually fairly easy to lather. Now granted, I went in with a, a fairly damper brush than what I would normally do for a soap, but it dialed in pretty quickly and it didn't break down. 
it just helped me dial it in that much quicker. Yeah, this is, this is fantastic. I did catch a blemish right there. The edges that Max puts on these razors, they last forever and they will certainly get your attention if you uh, catch, catch yourself anywhere. Well, other than just catching a blemish right there, I would say that was a, was a really nice shave. Let me rinse off, we'll get to the post shave and some final thoughts. All right, so we're gonna finish it off with some 322, which is, somehow it's a lot darker and uh, earthier than just this straight vetiver, but it does have Haitian vetiver some black current. It is fantastic. One of my favorite scents. But it goes really well with this. All right. So that was the shave. Other than the blemish that I knocked, uh, it was really a fantastic shave. Thoughts on Mike's natural soaps? I can certainly see why this has uh, really withstood the test of time. I still see people use it today. I've been in the hobby for about four years now and I still see people use this fairly regularly and now I know why. Uh, I have very favorable first impressions, very easy to lather. The primary and residual slickness are very good. Not necessarily elite, but still very good and definitely can work with it and Post shave to be determined. Obviously I used a post shave product today, so I'll have to use this sometime and see what it's like on its own without using a post shave product. But I imagine it's probably decent. Um, I, I probably wouldn't expect too much given how old this formula is, but I'm sure it's more than adequate enough to leave me feeling good for the rest of my day. Once again, I just wanna give a shout out to my buddy John, AKA Latherhog for allowing me the opportunity to Try out this soap, Mike's Natural Soaps, for the first time. I really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed the video as well. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop one in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks.